Water. Oh! That's quite the storm we got going on. <laughs> and look, there I am. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at how good this looks. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable and it's so good looking. Ah. Oh no! It's a little chibi boy. Hi, it's me. Hi. Yeah, so I am alive. Link! Link, wake up! Wake up! It's time for your awakening! Link! <laughs> and there's the big ol' egg. Look at that! Oh, this just looks so adorable. I'm so ready. Alright! Hello! It's me, your friendly neighborhood Little Tortilla. And welcome, welcome to Link's Awakening. So, I admittedly haven't played the original. Um, I never had the chance to. But now that it's re-released on Switch, we gonna be playing it. And I did beat Breath of the Wild before this. So who's ready for another two years of a Zelda game? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Zelda. Ah! What a relief! Is this really my voice? Hmm. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning and turning and tossing and you were asleep on the shore. You gotta wake up. It's time for your awakening. What? Zelda? Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> Perfect. I also love the Apex soundtrack that's going on in the background now. That's awesome. No, 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 you dummy. My name is Marin. <laughs> You must still be feeling a little woozy. Yeah, I just woke up. It's time for my- oh, almost time for my awakening. You are on Koho- Koholint? Koho- Koholint? Yeah. Koholint Island. You. Yeah. Alright, look at how I- <laughs> Oof! This looks heavier than heavy. Uh, your current strength won't cut it. Well- Aw oh man, it's got the- if they just keep, like, the old-school sound effects, but keep everything new, that's awesome. Is this a stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. Ooh. Oh! Well, hello, Link. You finally snapped out of it. <laughs> Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. Now, I look like Mario, so don't confuse me with Mario. There's a lot of Mario-themed enemies in this game, in case you didn't know, but don't confuse me with him. What? How did I know your name? Huh, you think it's weird, eh? <laughs> well, you talk in your sleep. You're talking about something about a, fa uh, a Calamity Ganon, a Zelda, uh, a Boba Light, and like... Two years about getting there. I don't know. Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. Oh. Wow. We got the Hylian shield already. <laughs> that was fast. You got your shield back! Hold R to repel enemies with it. Wow. We already got the Hylian shield. It's one of those that's just like, if lost, return to Link. The one kid smashing pots. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, like I said, I never got the chance to play this game um, when it came out on the Game Boy. The original one. Uh, oh, this is adorable. Oh, I was kind of hoping it took, it would keep the epic sound. Um, where am I supposed to, where's my sword? Hello. Hey man, you wanna save? Hit up the system screen. You know, you gotta stop by and hit it up. All the cool kids are doing it. You get there by opening the sub screen with the plus button and pressing R to get to the system screen. Uh, don't ask me what that means though, I'm just a kid. Anyway, you wanna try some screen? I forget what it was. Dang it, I can't even lift that. Oh, this is, this is just so adorable. Oh, the save points. Oh, that's how I save. 
Oh, uh, and it's still got those classic sound effects. Yo. So, there was one Game Boy version of Zelda I played, and that was the uh, Oracle of Ages, I believe. The blue one. Um, so, a lot of this is a little bit still nostalgic. Shield. A Hylian Shield's only 20 bucks? What sort of pageantry is this? Deluxe shovel and a piece of heart. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back later. I need to find my sword. Has anybody seen a sword? It's small and adorable, and it looks like this. It's like this big. I mean, in reality, it's bigger than that, but... Anybody seen a sword? Hey, kid, have you seen a sword? <laughs> well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last place you save. Unless it's a dungeon, in which case you start at the entrance. Oh, yeah, you're... I'm also on screen. <laughs> All the kids are doing it. I'm not really sure what it is, because I'm just a kid. You want to try some screen save? Or whatever it was called? I don't remember two minutes ago, because I'm just a kid. What about this house? Excuse me. Have you seen a sword? <laughs> <laughs> yep, those are my boys. I'm Popple. Blessed to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later. Yeah, they're like right over there. Uh, it's only five minutes walk across them. But yeah, I'm gonna get- oh. I'm gonna get lost in them later. Aww. Uh, with four boys who look like even I can get confused sometimes. And it gets really confusing when they all talking about doing some sort of thing called saving. Um, I don't know. They, they try to pressure other people into it. I don't really know. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the training game, but I couldn't get it. So, like I was saying, for those who don't know, and I mean, this game's been out for like... 20 some odd years. Um, a lot of this game, because it was on the Game Boy and sprites were hard to make. There we go. Um, they made it so a lot of Mario enemies were, in fact, enemies of the game. In the game. So you'll see, like, Chain Chomps, Cheap Cheeps, um, Yoshi. Um, what were some other? I forget what the others were, but yeah, there's a lot of Mario enemies in this game. Because that's just, back then, that's, you know, all they had. Village Library. I don't want to read books. I'll worry about that later. <laughs> hey, you want to do some save? I heard that you can press select to look at a, the island map. Not only that, but you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X. But I don't understand what they mean by that. Because I'm just a kid. Hey, you want to try some saving? All the kids are doing it. I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Anyway, like my brothers have said, you want to try some save? All the kids are doing it. Can I go inside here? Are you going to kill me, Chain Chomp? No? Perfect. That's a lot of Chain Chomps. Ho oh, ho, my Bow Wow is proud of his fine fur coat. What do you mean a Bow Wow? That's a... Chow Chow. That's literally just an iron ball with a mouth that's just doing this. What kind of fur coat is that? It's not one, if you ask me. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all! And some new accessories would be nice. I'm gonna give him that voice, just... Uh, yeah. I just want some except I need to stylize my iron ball, you know? Hello, old lady. Have you seen my sword? Yahoo! I'm fine. And you? I'm Google. <laughs> okay, bye, Grandma Yahoo. Hello. Has anybody here seen my sword? Grandpa, have you seen my sword? <laughs> Who are you? I have to say, please call outside. Uh, it seems that old man Ulrira is a shy guy in person. Uh, who are you? Get out of my house. I don't share cranberries. Uh. Um? Phone house? Have I been in the phone house already? Phone house! Hello! Bring, bring! Hello! It's me, Olyra! Ask me anything about the island. <laughs> and if you get lost, just give me a call. <laughs> you know, there is a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Also, some, some smut, if you're into that. Talk to you later! Click! <laughs> I like that he says, click! And then hangs up. And yet, 
he's shy in real life. So, hmm, hmm. Hey, uh, maybe I should actually talk to. What was her name? What was it, Marin? Was it Marin? Oh, it was. Cool. Follow the lane south to the beach where I found you. I don't. Is this my voice? Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? I don't have a sword! How am I supposed to fend for myself if I don't have a sword? <laughs> well, I guess that means we're just gonna go off into the fray. We're off then! Oh wait, I have to go south. Dang it, I can't even lift a simple bush out of the ground. Darn kids not knowing how to trim their, or pull out their bushes. There's, oh, there's several holes in the ground. Whee! Miss me. Miss me. Miss me. Miss me. Yeah, so where's my sword? That's a dungeon. Not my sword. So, can we just talk about how freaking delightful this game looks? It's just, it looks so darn delightful. And I love it. <laughs> Oh man, that was one of the, when they first were teasing this game, I was like, oh cool, Link's Awakening! And then I saw the art style, and I was like, oh my god, that is the cutest freaking thing I have ever seen in a game. Miss me! Ow! Hey, I need a- Ow! Okay, so I can't get past you. Has anybody seen my sword? Have you seen my sword? Oh, beware of sea urchins. Well, duh. It's not like they have spikes on them or anything, but... Has anybody seen my sword? You know, I bet you there's a really simple way to find my sword, and I'm just an idiot and haven't found it yet. <laughs> Again, has anybody seen a sword? It's small and it looks like a sword. Good to know. But, has anybody seen my sword? <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna have to wander around until I find my sword. Which, I mean, I thought was already implied, but you know. Hmm. What about this hole in the ground? Whee! Okay, so no. Oh, it even does the old school sound effect. God, this game is just freaking delightful. Anybody got a sword? I need to chop. I need to chop some grass for some hearts. Marin, Marin, have you seen my sword? Boy. Hey, what are you doing in my chest? Oh wait, where'd you learn to do such a thing? Was that my, was that his voice? Oof, this looks heavier than heavy. Nah. Oh yeah, some other stuff like this washed up on the beach. If you go look out, watch for monsters. Ever since you showed up, Link, I've seen them all over the place. Nah. Okay, so like... Where's my sword? There's only so much I can do without my sword. You know, I never actually went up and talked to this man. Hello! Nah. Hey, how about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. I don't have any money. You have to more have to have more passion. Live a little. Go outside. Fish. You know, living. Yes. But I have priorities. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It was right here the whole time. And I also took another half hearted damage. Ah. Ah. Ow man! Ooh, ooh. ooh! So you're the lad who owns the sword. Hmm, yes, nobody else here on this island owns a sword, because you see, nobody else here really fights. And it just kind of showed up on one day. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. You see, it's because you came here and you finally woke up, and you brought a sword. The monsters out here were actually really peaceful until you showed up. Now they're rampaging across the countryside, killing any they see in their path. Anyway, a courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. Oh yeah, maybe the windfish will stop everything. Probably not, though, because he's a fish in the wind. I mean, I, I don't know, but... Anyway, our monsters are killing our people as we speak. So, if you want to go up and wake up a fish, it is said that you cannot leave this island unless you wake up the fish, windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot. Maybe then people will stop... These monsters will stop killing all of our country people. Yay! You found your sword! It must be yours because it has your name engraved into it. You don't say. Excuse me, I ate something spicy before this. Now I got the hiccups. 
Ah, oh, there we go. That's it. The adventure's on. Give me the hearts. Ah. Oh man, dude. Okay, so, like I said, I never really played Link's Awakening, but playing this and the old school Zelda from like the top down, because I did play a couple of those, this has me feeling a bit nostalgic. Monkey! Monkey! Stop it! Stop it! Monkey! Stop it! Alright, so we're supposed to go north? Is what they all said? Can I open this? No. I want to go to... Okay. So I can't open that yet. Alright. Time to go north! Crocodile Man! Hey, welcome to Sales House of Bananas! By the way, have you ever heard of the Giga Clan? They really like bananas. They're my best customers. I'm Sale, and this is my house, and I'm a part of the Yiga clan. <clears throat> Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. Which you think is weird for a crocodile, but my brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies just run in the family. Did I mention I'm a crocodile? Yeah. I have weird hobbies of collecting canned food and selling bananas and... All this under wonderful random things. Okay, bye! That's when he turns around and he just pulls out his mask and goes, I found him. He's on the beach. Come get him now. And then the Yiga clan shows up, offering me bananas. Ow. Because the Yiga clan loves their bananas. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. I don't know about you, but in every old school Zelda game, if there were enemies crossing my path, I would immediately have to kill them. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because I might be a bit of an eco-terrorist. Because like I said, these monsters are living, you know, peacefully. And that's when I showed up. <laughs> Why are there random holes in the ground, too? Like, what kind of island just has holes in the mid middle of the ground? Like, that are so deep that anybody can just fall in. Ow! I'm sorry! So don't don't attack the chickens or the foxes. I mean the cuckoo rules, you know, been known in Zelda. But don't attack the foxes; they'll yip at you. Don't do it. Okay. Is this the mystery? Wow, that was fast. Hello, Mr. Owl. Ooh, yo, ho, brave lad! On your quest to wake the dreamer. By the way, the uh, monsters are still killing the natives over there. Yeah, half the island's already dead. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint island. In fact, you might say there's some mystery in this mysterious forest. Now, I'm not telling you there is, but I'm just saying. I'm afraid you may find it a little diff- a trifle difficult to leave the island with the while the windfish naps. You gotta wake it up, like you did. But September's not over yet, but you might have to wake him up inside. Oh, by the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. <laughs> He's always watching you. Always. What a weird owl. Hello. Is that a Moblin or a Bacoblin? What are you? The world may never know. Ow! I was gonna go up and stab him in the butt, but that didn't work. Turns out I only stabbed him in the side. Hello! Who are you, Mr. Adorable? Oh, that's a raccoon! My nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. You got any crack cocaine on you? I can smell the powder! Oh, you're going to be lost thanks to me! <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Did you just... You just reset the forest! Or move me forward, I don't know. Also, Link's sound effects in this game are just adorable. Who are you supposed to bet? Hold on, let me cut down the rest of your grass so I can collect all your rupees. Ah, 
this is what I miss from Breath of the Wild. Cutting grass down to earn to earn money. Wait, does it reset if I... Oh, I thought it reset if I walked up. Hello! Ah, you've still got plenty of pep. <laughs> Unlike me, of course. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. I'll give you some pep. Because I'm the great fairy. Hey, good job. So... Where am I supposed to go now? See, that worked. I stabbed him in the butt. Beware of floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them. But I liked cracked floors. They can reveal secrets. Or death. One or the other. Keys, could you not? Keys, could you not? I don't have anything that can break those boulders. Otherwise, I'd get that chest. Oh. It turns out I do have the thing. Ah, uh, did I just fuck this up? I might have fucked it up. Dang it. All right, hold on. I'm going to get this piece of heart. Wait, go back. Hmm. This is what we call one of them old school puzzles. I want you there. Hmm. What am I supposed to do now? Did I? Hold on. Let me reset it. Let me get a good look at this with my human brain, and then I'm going to solve this. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I'm onto something. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. God dang it. I don't think I can get this yet. Unless... Yeah, because I think the only way is I have to... <clears throat> Alright, I'll come back to this. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to come back to this. Or maybe I'm dumb and I just haven't figured it out yet. Come on, come on. Mushroom! You picked the toadstool! Ew. <laughs> As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma fl flows into your nostrils. That's when you see a random toad come out of the ground and go, Hey! What are you doing picking up my stool? I don't do a good toad, but you get the idea. <laughs> yeah, because I can't lift that yet. Dang it. I'll come back to that. I got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. For how long, though? Oh. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. So do these... I guess those just increase my damage? Well, you know, it would help. It would help if I didn't take any damage. So, I'm gonna get this chest real quick, and then we'll go from there. I'll take that rupee, though. Yoink! Ooh! 50 bucks! Now I'm rich as fuck, boy! I don't think this is the right way to go. Or maybe it was, and I'm just dumb and don't know how to get that piece of heart. Probably the latter. Ooh, very sensitive to blah, blah, blah. You're going to be lost thanks to me. The motherfucker keeps making me get lost. You're kind of... Mm. What if I go south? Stab him in the butt. Hmm. What if I go... Aha. Come on, hit me. I dare you. Come on, hit me, I dare you. Come on, come on. Oh, I get it. So how do I use this? What if I talk to you? Am I supposed to find somebody who can grind that into a powder? Probably. Mmm... Oh, well, I'll figure this out in a minute. Well, I'm going to leave this episode of Link's Awakening here. Uh, this game's just delightful.
It's just so delightful. I love it so much already. Uh, we're gonna have fun with this, and I promise it won't take two years to beat this one. It'll take one. <laughs> I'll cut it in half. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this game. It looks adorable, and it's fun. So highly recommend. Already, well, not highly recommend. I can't say much about it because I haven't done anything about it yet. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.